We're here on Sky. It's May 2016 and we're doing our first walk in the Coolins today. We're hoping to go up that one there behind. First of all walking up following the path past the fairy pools which are incredibly clear pools in this stream down here. Then going up the quarry at the back and then up that ridge and then bearing left up the ridge to the summit and then back down this long ridge back. That's the plan, whether we do it or not we'll have to see. So we're going to go up this stone chute and then round the back of this one then up onto the summit of the one with the trig point on. We're nearly at the top of the gully now. There's a snow pipe appearing now. This is our dinner time bivy tent. What's it like in there? Uh, out of the wind, that's for sure. Tuesday today, and we're going over to explore the Isle of Rosse on the ferry. And cycles apparently at the moment go free. Don't know how much it costs for the passenger though. to do on Rasse and we've just left the harbour and walked up through the village for cycled and walked and it's very wooded too and the fields are very green it's um, very very pleasant the sun's come out now Rasse is a beautiful green island off the east coast of Skye its most famous inhabitant was Sawley Maclean a famous Scottish poet there are lots of walks and things to do and see on this island and we only spent a day there but this was a broch that we visited called Dun Borradale. The broch is a roundhouse from the Iron Age so it could be around 2,000 years old. Peat is an accumulation of partially decayed vegetation such as mosses, shrubs and sedges. Many of the peat bogs were formed about 12,000 years ago when the glaciers retreated and the harvesting of peat for fuel is still in evidence on Rasay today. These ruins are the remains of a once imposing castle, Duntorn, and was the Clan MacDonald residence in the early 17th century. Bizarrely, the castle was blown up with gunpowder so that the stones could be reused.
Wednesday today and we're doing another Munro. This is the middle one along the main cooling ridge, the part near the youth hostel in Glen Brittle. And we're walking up the stream which is opposite it and we're going to go up this here up this um, shoulder and head up towards Skurnam Banadik, which is a Munro. And uh, then we might come back down here, which is a scramble, depending on what the weather does. It has improved somewhat. Right, it's up here now, then up that uh, little stream, and then along there. We're on the top now. Yeah, and we're, we're there. Skurnan Banach. There, and we're looking down Loch Karusk. There. Where's Loch Karusk? Here. debated about going on to Skurdur, but in the end we decided to come down and go along this ridge. And um, it's 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 a it shows a great two scramble in the book. Spa Cave is one of Scotland's natural wonders, but it's not easy to find or get to. Inside the cave, a sparkling white rock staircase leads upwards and beyond. Shallow pools shimmer with tiny crystals reflecting in the torchlight. Thursday today, we've saved it for a wet day and we're going down to the beach to find Spa Cave. Bit of a tricky walk down. We think this is the way. We found a path down a gully through limestone cliffs. So let's go and see where, whether we're right. We then had several bays and headlands to negotiate before reaching the entrance. in the 19th century. It had a locked door to prevent people robbing the cave of its long pendant stalactites. Unfortunately, the wall did not serve its purpose as people used ropes to climb it. The door was eventually demolished by a shot from an offshore gunboat and the cave is now bereft of its stalactite formations for which it was once renowned. Stones.
it's really precarious going around those rocks. I've had to claw my way round. Kamasunari and then into Loch Karusk by the Bad Step today. We've parked on the road that goes to Elgol. We've just set off with the bikes on the first stage which takes, it takes us as far as Kamasunari and the Bothy. We're going to leave the bikes there then walk in. We have to ford the stream, the river and then over to the Bad Step. in the water's lovely oh that was rather bracing what's it like <laughs> you feel your feet oh you're so brave We are now about to reach the infamous Bad Step, an almost untraversable boulder guarding the path towards Loch Karusk. It is not recommended for the average walker, or me, as there is some high exposure above the sea. Make sure you lean in all the time. Juliet, of course, did it several times to prove to me that it was okay, but I decided to turn back and climb up a couple of hundred feet around it, because I didn't fancy doing a swallow dive into the sea with my rucksack on. Finally, we reach Loch Krusk, and we were looking down onto this loch from the walk we did the other day. Ding. 